How do you wrap up a year like 2016? In a year that felt like it was all about our differences, Spotify tuned in to the listening data of its over 100 million users to remind us we're all a little bit weird. We started with an out-of-home campaign that was at once global and highly localized, showing what people listened to during Brexit, Valentine's Day, nights out, and in inappropriate ways. We told 164 unique data stories in the exact neighborhoods where the listeners lived. Then, we spread the message online, showing that it wasn't just our listening habits that were weird, it was the music, too. On social, we took a weirdly scientific approach to the year's top hits. Like, how many dances Drake needed, the year in weird spelling, and the emotional roller coaster that was Bieber's hair. Next, we personalized the campaign to each user, with an email recapping their year in listening, with stats on who they loved, when they loved it, and a unique playlist with their favorite songs of the year. Then, we partnered with top artists to reward the fans who listened more than anyone else. Like Trapping Paper, for the biggest streamers of trap music, Sienta Hats, for Sia fans, and for the biggest corn fans, Cornaments. All the gifts were announced through a series of social films. Our year-end campaign received over 1,500 pieces of news coverage, generated 1.2 billion earned impressions, and over a billion streams. And during its run, Spotify's subscription growth easily broke all company records. Thanks, 2016. It's been weird.